Hi folks, the Scout is my piece today, designed by Flippin' Out Sling Shots and distributed by Simple Shot Shooting Sports. The package I received contains an owner's manual, a double black Scout and a Flippin' Out sticker. The frame is made of glass filled nylon composite with overmolded rubber handle. It comes banded and the lanyard is also attached. This baby is ready to shoot. The owner's manual is not just a piece of paper, it contains really useful information, especially for a starter, about project tires, handling and safety overall. You will find basic instructions and some tips also. If you have further questions, all the necessary links are listed. Okay, here we go. This frame is pretty wide, so you can shoot over the top or through the frame easily. It is also large enough for secure grip and for a safe clearance to avoid fork hits or slipping off the hand. Have to say the quality of the frame is outstanding. Tight dimensions, uh, high quality details and the solid surface we have here. Injection molding made by professionals, tool marks are very very small. There are no sharp areas. Just look at this detail at the ejector pins mark. Perfect engineering. You can even see how the composite been built up. It's pretty easy to untie the factory made wrap. If you want to use a chain tube, you may want to slice up the frame at the preparation. For a nice cut, I suggest you to start an angled cut and let the small slot drive the sew. You can find the preparation on both sides. The length of the lanyard is wisely chosen. It is just long enough for the wrap and tuck method as it is described in the owner's manual. The overall active length from tie to tie is long enough for high draw lengths. You can shorten the bands. I left them by default for this review. It's a long life straight cut band, not as fast as a tapered cut, but we are going for safety and reliability now. Don't forget that I'm measuring a used band here. There are already some changes in the dimensions. The top crane leather pouch is a small center hole. Usually I use larger diameter to secure my ammo at the center, but it is just fine. You can see the small slice that helps to drive forces along the outer side of the pouch. There is the standard constrictor nut. It's a single one and almost impossible to untie once tightened. Now it's over 400 shots without any serious harm. It's definitely a tough pouch. Yes, it is well aligned. Size is large enough for different size of round project ties. Easy to load, no slip. Probability is great. It's a 12mm steel ball. You can see. The pouch encompasses the ammo. Wow, feels good. I'm not a fan of hammer grip style, but it feels comfortable. This pounce weld is better than I thought for the first time. Just look how it fits. I have a size 10 hand. I asked people with smaller and larger hands to test it. We are sharing the same opinion. It's good. I use pinch grip most of the time and this beloved finger support. The groove is tailored to thumb, there is no unintentional slip, holds like a glue, a good point to maintain consistency during shooting. Ok, here comes the pinch grip. As you see the area below your pinky is clean. This way of holding a slingshot shortens the levers of forces. Because of this your hand is getting closer to the shooting through area, but not with the scout. We have plenty of clearance here. The scout is not just ambidextrous, its flip side offers a second way of hammer grip. It comes with a more articulated palm swell. It's good for smaller hands. The rubberized handle is firm. Only the feeling of the touch is soft. If you use it combined with the lanyard, it gives a more than sure grip. The lanyard is long enough for larger hands and leaves enough room for modifications. Might be disturbing with hammer grip, but does a perfect job with pinch and support style. Of course, the end caps are closed and the diameter is comfortable. It won't cut in. I found a microscopic flash at the top, just under the bands. It's curious how it behaves during usage. It was not sharp and there is no damage on the bands, so you can leave it if you want. This concave part of the slingshot is not sharp, but operates with a fairly small fillet, and the end is a bit pointy. Let me show it with a hard squeeze. There is the mark. It's not disturbing with lighter bands like this. Might be sanded a bit if necessary. It's an indoor archery range. Catch box is set to 10 meters distance. I had a pretty fast learning curve with the scout. All of my shots landed in the catch box from the first time. After a half hour, I was familiar with the different grip styles and aiming. From this time, it was easy to deliver my shots to the target. I was lucky with the ambidextrous frame. I'm holding my slingshots in my right hand. The default over the top band attachment is really popular, but you will find it comfortable with all the other setups too. 
These latex bands are great. The draw is smooth and gradient. My draw length is uh, 92 cm and measured 4.5 kg with my fishing scale at uh, 28 uh, Celsius. At the 70 cm it was uh, 3.5 kg and uh, 2.9 was measured at 60. Had no fork hits, none of those. Few hand slaps happened but the pouch is lightweight and soft, no harm. Okay, some serious talk. As a designer and frame builder myself, I have to be honest with you guys. I like this product because it has background. Based on experience and excellent craftsmanship, it is focusing on versatility. No matter if you are a woman, a kid, an absolute starter or an experienced shooter, somehow you will like it. Maybe for the comfort table shooting or for the multiple methods of band attachments or simply because it's affordable and accurate at the same time. You may use it for decades or just keep it as a souvenir of having fun with your friends. For more information on colors, kits and accessories or slingshooting overall, please visit www.simple-shot.com.